Your girl's back for a little bit. You know, I just had test week, you guys. I had test week last week. Well, two weeks ago because I'm going to upload this one. Doesn't matter. I was gone because I was studying for tests. And one thing about uni, do not cram. Don't, don't do it. Anyway, welcome back. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing. Today's look, we're giving Safari meets the North Pole. Let's get straight into the video so i basically asked you guys to ask me a life update questions q a i've never done a q a so i'm gonna do it because why not also guys i didn't really beat beat my face but it looks like i beat beat my face i'm sure you can see like dark spots because i didn't really you know what i'll do that in another video i'll just give you guys like different makeup routines that i do i want to do more makeup videos just want to explore all the different corners do you know what i mean so. how is living in sa different from living in zim Hmm. Um, living in SA, well, well, I live alone, so living in SA is way better because, you know, I just have control over most things, you know, I control when I can do the dishes, I don't have to ask anyone to go where I'm going, I don't have, you know, it's, it's nice, I like living alone, it's pretty cool, pretty neat, if I wanted to buy, forget, uh, earrings, for example, if I wanted to buy earrings, um, I could simply just go to Mr. Price, buy them for 24 rands, um and life would be booming zim i'm spending five dollars on a packet of earrings it doesn't make sense there's more things to do which is great i like to do things guys i like to do things and there's markets every sunday there's um you can go to the, there's this plant uh thing that i want to go to in bram chisa sent me this tiktok it's just so aesthetic i want to go i want to go there's like a paint um place where you go and paint and you just vibe out to great music guys there's things to do the problem is, is that since i came from zim with that mindset the whole um every single weekend we're going out we're doing this we're doing that when i came to zim that i mean when i came to south africa that's what that was my mindset so no i switched it i was like no i will not go out every single weekend i don't need to do that which school are you at okay i got a lot of these questions which school am i at which uni am i at what am i studying what's that? so let me just say it now i'm at international hotel school and i'm studying it's a degree in business administration and hospitality operations management it's a lot it's a lot i don't know who told me to do a degree i don't know how are you feeling physically mentally and emotionally physically um i don't know if you guys have seen i've gained a bit of yams um in the past when i've gained weight I would be depressed. There's this one time, I'm um, around about, uh, when was this? Was it 2019 that I was working at prior? Yes. 2019, guys, I gained weight and I was depressed. Um, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> I was not okay. Now, I've gained weight, but I'm back to normal. I'm back to the normal size that I was. So I'm happy. Now I just need to regulate. In regards to weight, <laughs> I'm good. I'm cooling, fam. I'm okay. In, in regards to the place that I'm living in, I'm grand. I love my place. It's so me <laughs> emotionally i'm up um i've been happy -er, happier i've been so happy um yeah i've been i've been feeling like good for maybe the past two months progressively getting happy and happier more content with life like it's it's great like i don't know guys like i wake up and i'm fine like you know um, there was a point in time where i wasn't drinking because i would just fear getting into my emotional side and i feel like when you drink and you get drunk it forces you to feel the emotion that you've been trying to dodge when you're sober guys not to say that i've been drinking drinking but i've been, I've been drinking. drinking i've been, I've been drinking. drinking you're okay, not really but like you know what i'm trying to say like now i don't fear getting drunk like or tipsy thank you for all the advice you give i'm eternally grateful Yo, that means so much to me because I really just come on here and rap, you know? So sometimes when I rap, I'm like, I'm not necessarily trying to give people advice. I just like talk. But bless. When will Soho Park reopen? Yo! Mm. It's a bit of a sticky one. It's a bit of a sticky one still. Okay, it's not a sticky one. I just feel like I need to find time. I feel like there's just no time. Right now, Soho is down. Um, thanks to everybody who's born awake. I mean, I know y'all were happy. Haha. 
Soho, I'm not sure when Soho is going to reopen. I'm not going to lie to you. But um, it will reopen, of course, honey. This isn't from Soho, bummer. But, you know, it's going to reopen. It's going to reopen. I just don't know when. I cannot put a date to it. It might be next year or end of this year. Who knows? Do you regret being with someone in your past relationship? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a lot of people that's gonna come up here and be like, um, no, I don't regret anything. I appreciate every experience. Personally, personally, it's some motherfuckers out here that I wish never got the opportunity to even oh, 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 no. guys. Some people I look back and I'm like how bored how freaking bored was i to let you in my life some people never deserve me some people i will never claim them i'm sorry i'm sorry and stop claiming me no if you guys appreciate me and you love me whoever's out there claiming me come to me and be like yo this person is claiming to have been with you blah blah, blah. come to me and i'll say no i was never with this person per don't start talking to people because you're bored do not do it. You will settle for losers. Losers. Who are your closest friends as of now, including your best friends? Um, my best friends are Becky and Chi Chi. So yeah. Now I miss them. Wow. Do you miss your family? Yes. Uh, do you know what? Yeah. Let me let me be real. Um, I do miss my family, but it's not as bad as I thought it was. Like I miss my family, but then I don't need to go back to them. Like I'm not itching to go back to them to go and visit them. How are you coping with the internet life? Like, how did you become so confident? Oh, juicy. Um, do you know what? I'll keep it 1,000. I'll keep it 1 million. Most of my confidence, it started earlier. Maybe when I was like, what, 15, 15, 16 there. It started earlier because I would just always have people commenting hot as hot as hot as under my post. So I feel like my confidence built on that. But when I was around, I won't even lie. When I finished high school, that's when I kind of started to work on my self-confidence as in, I want the self-confidence to come from inside. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So I would do things like wear whatever I wanted, watch whatever I want, just doing things that I proper like and not just because other people are saying it's cool or you know, getting validation from other people. No, I proper worked on myself and I was like, I want to reach a point that even if someone calls me ugly, it doesn't affect me because if someone would be like, oh, she's not even that fresh, Right now, I'd be like, okay. She's not even that cool. Okay. Because I know I am. <laughs> it takes time. Like, I'm 18, 19, 20. Okay, I'm almost 21. Almost, child. Your birthday's at the end of the year. Like, it does take a lot of time. But then, you know, actively doing things that you like to do. I feel like self-confidence is way more than just, you know, your outer. But you know, once you work inside, it reflects. You know what I'm saying? Listen to podcasts. Maybe I should do a video on how I became confident. You know what I mean? I'm not an insecure hand. I'm not insecure. Everyone has insecurities. I'm not insecure, but I'm not insecure. Tell me you understand what I'm trying to say. Like, how do you stay motivated? Sheesh. I just always keep a picture in my mind of what I want my life to be. I know that if I just give up or I stop being lazy or I just lose focus, I know that I won't get the life that I want. So, you know, what can help with that? I keep a mood board slash vision board. I have both a mood board and a vision board. A mood board is more temporary to me. A mood board is just, what are my vibes for this year? You know what I mean? Um, a vision board, same kind of thing, but it's more goal oriented. So um, keep one. If you can make a physical one and put it on your wall, do that. But then I will just go on Pinterest every single day and I'll look at my goals and it will keep me motivated and also kind of believing that this is the life that I'm going to live one day and nothing's going to come in the way of that. God is going to give me this life. How do you deal with anxiety if you have it, of course? I was dealing with anxiety uh, from last year, November, to this year... Feb, March, February, March. It was terrible. Like I'd wake up and I'd just be shaking. Um, like I'm just, you know, I just wake up with anxiety. Sometimes I just have like weird ass anxiety attacks, weird ones. Um, how I dealt with it is meditation. I remember asking one of my friends, Yasha, she was telling me like how to deal with it and stuff like that. 
um meditation helped i would meditate on a bible verse um and i'll take deep breaths like and then hold for three seconds and then exhale or whatever that helped a lot praying as well but then i feel like you kind of need to um understand what god is to you if you believe in god or whoever you pray to have a relationship with them do you know what i mean i i moved away from the traditional way of praying the very uh there's like steps to prayer and stuff like no i don't do that like i'll genuinely talk to god i'll talk to god i'll be like god this is what's happening um i've been feeling like this and i don't want to feel it like i'll talk to him as if he's my therapist literally so um kind of developing that relationship with god and just ranting proper ranting because i know that no matter what first of all he's not only gonna listen to me he's also going to fix it and he'll guide me so you know obviously yes go to your friends and every guys do my fingers look like sausages be real be real you have friends as well i think that's another point but anyway um but god you know if you have a relationship with god don't take that for granted like talk to him pray probably like god this is how i feel and listen i know i didn't listen uh you said that you know the situation was not for me you said it but i didn't listen and i'm sorry and see the beautiful part about god is that he doesn't care about your mistake he doesn't care he's like okay cool you're you're apologizing fine sins forgiven gee let me fix your mess that's really what panned that's really what panned to me at least um i believe in god with friends as well have a friend or friends that you can vent to guys there's nothing more comforting than a friend that can listen i'm still learning how to do that i've i used to be such a bad listener i wouldn't listen to people i'd wait for them to finish so i can speak no i well i'm better now obviously like i listen to people i'm actually interested in what people are saying to me. for example one of my friends that's really good at listening is masimba masimba is like the best listener ever um ever literally so have a friend that can properly listen to you and they understand what you need in that rant session sometimes you just want to rant without advice you just want to rant and get your mind off things a proper cry to someone um yeah guys like i feel like that's what friends are for <laughs> is there a guy in your life or any potentials yes are you visiting home anytime soon i don't know i don't think so soon is probably december yeah i'm definitely coming home in december but i don't know if i'm coming home in july that's my chat do you plan on getting a car yeah no cap brand new car got no keys um, do you live on student res no but i won't say this is not a student accommodation but first of all it's a three minute walk from my school okay not three minutes a 10 minute walk from my school but like a two minute drive um type beats um and there's a lot there are a lot of students in this area and a lot of young people in this area so it kind of feels like a student race even the um the design of the place is very studenty how is it living alone it's great i think i've mentioned this before it's great um i can wake up whatever time i want without being judged guys my mom would proper come into my room and say you've been asleep for too long meaning what what do you plan on doing after you get your decree i plan on just being really big on youtube and just living life guys having fun having fun i want to make money off what i love i want to be very stable financially i want to be able to afford whatever i want um i don't know if i'm gonna move back home it depends on the situation but i don't mind living in jovic still i don't mind do you regret moving to sa no not at all i haven't really felt like oh i wish i went to uk I wish I went to Canada. What's your take on relationships in your early teenagehood? Um, by early teenagehood, I'm now thinking what, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16. My first ever relationship when I was 16, relationship, I will not count it now because, guys, you I was 16. I won't count it, but in a sense, it really did affect me and it affected how I thought. Yeah, like it was my first heartbreak. Heartbreak. It was my first heartbreak. Mm, and it really just it's the reason why i haven't been in a relation it's not the reason why but then since 2016 i've not been in a boyfriend girlfriend relationship i haven't done it type of thing so i'll say just wait it out it's nothing special if you like someone go ahead date them it's fine but just be careful who are you dating i'm not dating anyone right now oh that's the last question yeah most of them are just um freaking uni questions and stuff like that yeah i'm reading off my laptop 
most of my uni stuff where am i studying uh what am i studying but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and that please we are on the road to 5k so go ahead and tell your friends tell your family tell anyone you want about this channel if you enjoy thank you guys so much for watching this video i love all of you and i appreciate all of you goodbye <laughs> All I wanted was me